Yo, what is going on today, fam? We're back again, and we're working upon the K-Swap EG today. Um, today, we're gonna be turning our attention to the subframe. Um, I've already went to remove the subframe from the car. The reason why we need to do this is because we're doing a couple things to it. Number one, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit just to make it look nice and pretty. I'm not sure if I want to throw a coat of paint on it or not. I mean, it's, it's pretty clean, so, but we'll still see how it cleans up. Number two, we gotta get our old steering rack out because we have a new steering rack from a DC2 Integra. So the reason why we're swapping steering racks is one, a quicker steering ratio. Number two, we wanna be able to run power steering and I'm using a, the hybrid racing power steering um, kit so we can retain power steering on this car even with the K-Swap. Um, the differences in this rack physically is, um, the DC2 rack is a bit less bulky. I just got a remanufactured one from AutoZone um and it has two ports instead of three ports and the hybrid racing kit reminds you to run a three port um excuse me a two port steering rack this is the hybrid racing kit pretty much not too much to it um i installed the bracket that comes with it on my power steering pump already and then it has lines a oil cooler and a reservoir in there um it's pretty complete so far one thing that i did notice it didn't have the right size fitting, so I had to order one. That's why this fitting right here is um, black instead of the silver one that came with the hybrid racing kit. No big deal though, got that all taken care of. So we're gonna go ahead today. Um, oh, excuse me. So I also have my rear passport mount that we're gonna put on. That's gonna sit right here like that, but we're gonna bolt that on after we go um, to to clean up the rest. Uh, and also I have a rigid collar kit from PLM. This is just gonna help to, uh, to go to center our subframe a bit better, just to have better subframe alignment with the chassis and hopefully make the chassis feel just a little bit more responsive in the steering department. Um, I, I bought new steering rack bushings too. These are energy uh, suspension bushings. Don't really need much of an install. You just press them on um, and you go to install, but Hopefully everything bolts up the way it's supposed to and we'll be off the races. So first thing first, gotta get our old power steering rack off. Right, so I got the subframe cleaned up just a little bit. Didn't go crazy with it. I mean, it wasn't that dirty but to begin with. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. So next thing, we gonna be doing is going to get our new steering rack installed. Then I'll go ahead and get my, uh, just a Hasport uh, rear mount installed as well. Pretty chill, um, all in all, but yeah, let's get it. So here's where the not so fun part of all this comes in. Um, Trying to line everything back up. For one, you gotta line your steering rack um, back up and you have to get it uh, slotted back in <laughs> in the right place. So that's a struggle there. Um, then you have to get all your bolts lined in. Meanwhile, you're trying to fight your hubs and stuff if you still have them on, you know, your knuckle like that so your brakes are hanging. But it can definitely be a challenge. But I'm gonna go ahead, start dwelling into this. Um, yeah, might as well go ahead and get it. And I'm from a place of privilege because I have a whole lift right here. So I can only imagine people doing this on their back, but hey man, let's get it. All right, Tyler, so got the subframe back in. Unfortunately, was not able to get the rack hooked back up to the steering wheel because we have to get um, a steering column knuckle from a DC2 Integra. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. But got the PLM rigid collar kit on, no issues. Unfortunately, their website doesn't have any type of instructions, but I used the blocks um, of rigid collar kit instructions and I was able to do it just from the photo, so that made it cool. Everything is all bolted up though, power steering rack, everything fits as it should. Taped off the porch just so no debris gets inside of there. Let me show y'all the steering knuckle right quick. 
that I'm gonna have to go to a junkyard again, which I needed to make a junkyard run anyway. So not even tripping, but gonna have to get one from a Integra. So yeah, that's all. Um, it's it's pretty easy to get to it. Um, it's just right there, but gotta have the right parts. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video here. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out. Yeah. Huh.